Welcome to the Faculty of Arts and Humanities at the University of Macau. My name is William Hughes and I'm a professor in the Department of English within this faculty. And in this presentation I would like to introduce you to the programmes, to the culture and to the many facilities that we have within the Faculty of Arts and Humanities. Our faculty is home to over 1,100 students who engage in high-quality academic study, benefit from internships and present placements which prepare them for their careers after university, and who enjoy a rich cultural life in this remarkable and vibrant city, the historical gateway between China and the West. Our students are supported and mentored by an international community of over a hundred members of faculty, many of whom enjoy distinguished and established reputations in their respective intellectual fields. Now within the Faculty of Arts and Humanities, you will become a member of a scholarly community that values fluency in language and expression, which encourages the development of independent thinking, critical inquiry and creative imagination, and which looks outward to the modern world. Now the Faculty of Arts and Humanities offers its students instruction in a wide range of scholarly disciplines. These include linguistics, the literatures of China, of Portugal and of the English-speaking world, drama, translation studies, regional and global history, and both Chinese and Western philosophy and religious studies. In the recent past, the faculty has conducted an exciting program of student exchanges which have brought students from Brazil, Portugal and the Chinese mainland to Macau, and which have also seen students from UM spend time abroad at one of our partner universities. As the global pandemic retreats, we will be looking towards reopening these opportunities in order to prepare our students for life in a global community. Now, the University of Macau is proudly part of the global scholarly community. Our university is ranked between 201 and 250 in the Times Higher Education World University Rankings, with a global ranking of number five in its international outlook. This international outlook is reflected in the subjects we teach and the ways in which we prepare our students to engage in a modern global world. This attitude is reflected in the vision of the faculty and indeed that of the university overall. Committed to shaping a better Macau, UM also looks outward to regional developments in the Greater Bay Area, to serving China as a country and to maintaining the university's own place in this changing world. To do this and to develop our own students as individuals, the faculty will take care to provide its students with a holistic learning experience that focuses upon knowledge, skills and literacies. Through systematic study, our students will be equipped with the fundamental knowledge and specialist methodology in their chosen subject, be it linguistics, literature, translation, history or philosophy and religion. Our aim is to encourage outstanding scholars in the humanities at all levels to encourage innovation and excellence in research and knowledge transfer, and to produce high-quality academic publication by both faculty and by advanced students also. Now for some practical information. Within the university, the Faculty of Arts and Humanities is organised into eight units. Through, though interdisciplinary work often brings the members of these into regular contact with each other. The eight units are Art and Design, Chinese Language and Literature, English Studies, Portuguese Studies, History, Philosophy and Religious Studies, Japanese Studies and the English Language Centre. And the faculty offers five major programs which lead to the degree of Bachelor of Arts or BA. I'll go through these. In Chinese language and literature 
We integrate practice and theory through a focus on writing skills and internationally recognised instruction in relevant topics such as pre-Qin dynasty literature, contemporary literature, classical Chinese and modern Chinese. Now, great importance is attached to the extracurricular activities undertaken by students which ensure a fulfilling four-year university life before they join the job market with confidence. The core of the BA in English studies is a balanced emphasis upon literature and linguistics. Students will engage with a wide variety of literatures written in English language and examine a range of issues which exemplify how this global language functions. The English department has established research strengths in a wide range of literary fields including the Gothic, children's literature, post-colonial theory and drama. And in linguistics, it enjoys also world-class expertise in world Englishes, translation studies, and in comparative literature and sociolinguistics. The history curriculum embraces a broad spectrum of historical topics and focuses on the history of China from the past to the present and, drawing upon this university's unique location in Macau, on the study of interactions and exchanges between the Global East and the Global West. Other important areas of research and teaching within history include maritime history and the age of sail, the history of science and of the arts, and the history of South and Southeast Asia. In Japanese studies, the first and second year courses are taught by devoted instructors specifically trained to teach in multiple languages, including Japanese. Conversation courses in Japanese are taught exclusively by native instructors and students also enjoy the opportunity to take courses on Japanese culture and society which are taught in the Japanese language and at an advanced level. A short-term summer programme for up to two weeks in the first or second year is also available to students and on campus students have ample opportunities to participate in activities outside of class in order to practice their speaking and listening skills with native speakers. A one-year exchange programme to universities in Japan is also normally available for students in the third year and above. Portuguese studies, finally, provides an outcome-based curriculum that includes an intensive and goal-orientated language training programme for students in the first two academic years. In the third academic year, a study abroad program helps students to improve their knowledge of Portuguese by spending one year at a Portuguese or a Brazilian university. The specialist training provided in the fourth academic year, in translation, linguistic studies, literature and cultural topics, will also prepare students for future professional activity or indeed an academic career. At UM, we structure our learning through a unique, holistic and student-centred four-in-one education model, as shown in the diagram in front of you. This includes discipline-specific education, general education, education through research and internship, and community and peer education. Now, it's important that UM provides its students with a high-quality educational experience that will facilitate their success as 21st century citizens and leaders. This is the direction of the development of higher education worldwide and it reflects also the values and needs of our own university community. As a learning strategy, it replaces the traditional specialised or vocational undergraduate education model with a new 21st century holistic approach which nurtures students' development in new ways fostering a strong sense of moral integrity, the ability to think critically, to be problem solvers and contributing citizens of Macau, of Greater China and of the world. Our hope and our intention is that our students upon graduation will thus be able to face the future with the confidence, strength and abilities needed to meet the various challenges that will define our 21st century. Now moving from undergraduate studies to postgraduate provision, 
the Faculty of Arts and Humanities currently offers seven master's programmes. These are the Master of Philosophy, or MPhil, programmes in Chinese linguistics, in Chinese literature, and in Portuguese language and culture, and the Master of Arts, or MA, programmes in Chinese literature and culture, English studies, history, and translation studies covering English to Chinese and Portuguese to Chinese. MA programmes offer an intensive and specialist training to those wishing to develop their knowledge to a higher level and a greater depth. They are characteristically taught with the benefit of the ongoing research of the faculty members responsible for their delivery, and they can prepare an individual for further study at doctoral level. And moving to doctoral level, supervision for research students wishing to read for a doctorate or PhD at the University of Macau is offered in eight main areas. These are applied linguistics, Portuguese, history, linguistics, Chinese, linguistics, English, literary studies, Chinese, literary studies, English, literary and intercultural studies, Portuguese, and finally, philosophy and religious studies. As a doctoral student, you will work closely with one or more members of the faculty whose research interests complement the topic you've proposed. And candidates for the PhD are strongly advised to speak to a potential supervisor before submitting a formal application to the faculty. At all levels, and across all subject areas and disciplines, the faculty strongly encourages its students to reflect upon their learning processes and to develop a strategy for study based upon what we term the four C's. And these are creativity and innovation, critical thinking and problem solving, communication and collaboration. To give this a practical application, we encourage the following activities amongst our students, whether they're at undergraduate level, master's level, or doctorate. Number one, direct contact with world-renowned scholars through guest lectures and similar activities. UM is incredibly proud of its programme of guest lectures and presentations, which bring world-class speakers from China and the rest of the world to address our students and faculty. Indeed, in the Faculty of Arts and Humanities, we successfully maintained this tradition via Zoom right through the recent pandemic. By application of knowledge in creative and academic publication and research. This is essentially the dissemination of your achievement, your opportunity to demonstrate your own skills and acknowledge the training you've received at UM to others. Our faculty members regularly write edit and publish academic works of globally respected quality. Many of our students also follow their example and publish the work that they've produced at UM so that others may benefit from the training that they've received. We also encourage a close interaction between teachers and students, a dialogue in other words that will benefit both and maintain interesting debate in the seminar room. And finally, we encourage strongly participation in various academic lectures, international conferences and other activities. And this follows on from close interaction with your own faculty members and teachers. We, students and teachers, are all members of a scholarly community. And we have a duty to add to our own knowledge and to add our own knowledge and opinions to the ongoing debate. It's worth pausing here as well to consider some of the unique teaching and learning resources physi physically located within the Faculty of Arts and Humanities. These include, at the top, the Black Box Theatre, a fully functional 100-seat interactive space for theatrical performances and rehearsals, which may also be used to host other forms of presentations and gatherings. It is a vital teaching and learning component for a number of courses offered by the Faculty of Arts and Humanities, and it also serves as a venue for programmes developed by other units of UM, 
including faculties, residential colleges and student groups. The faculty is also home to the Simultaneous Interpreting Lab, a professional language laboratory especially designed for training conference interpreters. Fitted with a state-of-the-art Sonaco language teaching and learning system, multimedia equipment and built-in soundproof SI booths, the lab is a space where situations of real-life multilingual meetings can be simulated. The lab has sufficient capacity to allow up to 40 students to practice simultaneous interpreting at the same time. Students can listen to or watch a live or pre-recorded audiovisual source and have their oral interpretation recorded while it takes place. All recordings which are stored in digital files can then be easily collected and distributed, thus allowing sufficient evaluation and, importantly, reflective learning. The SI Lab is probably the best venue of its kind in this region. Other facilities available to FAH students include the Learning Commons, a comfortable public area where students can gather to learn, to eat and to chat. And the Language Labs, one of which features a testing centre which support teaching in the Portuguese and English languages. The Faculty of Arts and Humanities is also committed to providing a range of overseas study experiences to our students. Through strategic collaborations with our global partners, respected universities in Asia, Europe and in North and South America, FAH offers its students the opportunity to gain valuable cross-cultural experience and to enrich their sense of appreciation of global issues. These six photographs provide just a small insight into the world which may open up to a student in our faculty. For example, students majoring in Portuguese studies in particular have a choice of nine partner institutions. Students majoring in Japanese studies have access to 15 partner institutions. And finally, we are proud to name these prestigious global partners as participants in our various overseas studies opportunities. I'd like to have a word now about the time which follows graduation. Our alumni are uniquely equipped to gain admission to a wide variety of professional careers in, for example, commerce and business, education and the community and social services. But beyond these employment destinations, the nature of, of the careers taken up by our graduates exhibits great diversity and imagination and ranges from scientific and research work through to merchandising and purchasing. A graduate of this faculty is, characteristically, flexible, imaginative and fully equipped for the modern world. And finally, there are many opportunities for stimulating social and intellectual contact and personal development before graduation. Student associations such as these on the chart in front of you complement tuition in each discipline and membership of them can develop interests and indeed friendships that may last you a lifetime. I'd like to thank you for your attention during this presentation and I wish you welcome to the FAH family. Thank you.